Welcome to the channel. Today we have a very special review of the Rio Link Duo 3 that has just been released. This was sent to me by Rio Link, but the opinions in this review are all my own and have not been vetted by Rio Link ahead of the release. In a recent poll of the community, Rio Link came up as the camera of choice with 42% ahead of the Eufy in second place, which scored 9% based on the cameras listed. Reolink has been around since 2009 and seems to be a security camera company that listens to their target customer, bringing smart and innovative cameras to the market each year. They offer a wide range of security cameras that meet every budget and feature set, ranging from the battery-powered 2 megapixel cameras through to the 12 megapixel POE cameras. And now the Duo 3 continues this trend with many new features that we'll go through later in the video offering an amazing 16 megapixels of clarity coming from its dual lens design. In this video, we'll run you through what you get in the box, a step-by-step -step guide to set up, a walkthrough of the feature sets, and how to integrate this into Home Assistant, and follow up with a roundup at the end. Now, as this video might be a little longer than usual, please use the timestamps in the description to jump to the appropriate section of the video you are interested in. Otherwise, let's dive into the world of Rio Link with the new Duo 3 high resolution dual lens POE camera. Inside of the box, you get everything you'd need to get a power over Ethernet camera up and running. The camera itself measures 195 by 103 by 56 millimeters and weighs in a respectable 680 grams. The camera body is a durable plastic that is UV resistant, while the front black section of the camera is made from metal. This has a dual purpose as it provides a robust field for the camera and also acts as a heat sink for those complex electronics that service those advanced features. It has mounting options for both underneath and on top, so you can attain that perfect mounting position, be it on a wall or hanging from beneath an eave. The mounting bracket, which is a sturdy reinforced plastic, has a ball and socket arrangement. This allows for a lot of control over the orientation of the camera mount, and once attached to the camera, can be secured in place with a single screw clamping the camera into position. Mounting the camera is simplified with the inclusion of a steel mounting plate and guide template for the holes. Thoughtfully, Rio Link provides you with the screws and raw plugs to give you everything you need to get the camera mounted and working out of the box. More on that later. Reolink offers its customers storage choices, as you can opt for the subscription cloud storage, but you also get on-device storage. This is via a micro SD card that is behind a weatherproof door underneath the device. You can add up to 256 gigabytes of storage to the device, giving you plenty of space for that important security footage. Next to the SD slot is the device's reset button. This needs the specially included tool to press so you don't hit it by accident. There are two cables that come from the back of the camera. One is for the LAN and PoE connection and the second is for an optional 12 volt power supply that you can purchase from Reolink. Both come with protective caps, although you'll be using the LAN connection as there is no built-in Wi-Fi for this camera. That is serviced by the Duo 2 Wi-Fi camera. To protect the PoE LAN connection, there is a protective cover that makes the connection weatherproof. Reolink also provide a 1 meter LAN cable, although I'd suggest the majority of us will use a LAN cable specific to our requirements. Reolink also provided a PoE switch for the purpose of testing, with two uplinks, eight powered 1 gigabit ports, and 120 watts of power. It's an ideal switch for powering multiple cameras. Links in the description. Hidden away on the front of the camera is the microphone that includes a noise cancelling function that can be adjusted within the app, while under the camera is a powerful speaker that provides clear audio and can be also used as a siren. Then we come to the star of the show, the 16 megapixel combined dual lenses, that's 7680 by 2160 at 20 frames per second with an f1.6 and a 2.8 millimeter focal lens. That's a lot of information to squeeze down a LAN cable, so H.265 compression is applied to keep the bandwidth requirements under control, which tops out at 10 megabits per second. These impressive 1 over 2.7 inch CMOS lenses give you the crystal clear detail over 180 degrees horizontal and 55 degrees vertical field of view. The output of the dual lenses is then stitched together to give you a single picture, and this is all done on device. 
The camera is perfect for super wide security perspectives, but with its limited vertical field of view, you might need to pick an alternative for the front door. For that, I'd recommend the Rio Link Smart 2K PoE video doorbell, which has received some glowing reviews and offers fabulous value for money with an amazing feature set. Links in the description. Download the Rio Link app. Links in the description. Create an account if you don't have one already and log in. Now plug in your Rio Link Duo 3 LAN cable into your PoE switch. After a few minutes, a new camera should show up. Now press the cog in the center of the picture. This will take you through to the screen to create a password for the admin user ID, which is the default user ID for the camera. Enter a password and confirm with the same password. Then press next. Now enter the name of your camera and press next. Now press done. Your camera is now configured and ready for it to be mounted. Installing the camera is a breeze. Simply use the included guide to mark out the locations of the screw holes and drill. Use the included raw plugs and mount the plate with the provided screws. Just remember the two screw holes are the top of the mounting plate on the wall, unless you're mounting it under an eave. Now clip your camera bracket into location and secure with the provided screw into the lower screw hole. Your camera bracket should now be firmly fixed to the wall and you can connect your camera to the movable connector at the end of the mounting arm. Now position your camera to the desired orientation and fix into location using the included hex key. I would suggest using a small junction box for the cables, even though they have waterproof plugs to keep everything neat and tidy. Inside of the Rear Link app, there are three views along the top menu. These are camera, cloud, and IoT. Camera allows you to view all cameras associated with the account. The cloud menu, as the name suggests, allows you to view your pictures stored on the cloud storage you might have subscribed to. The plans range from $3.49 USD per month for up to five cameras and 30 days of storage through to $10.49 per month for up to 20 cameras and 60 days of storage. Just remember that all your recordings are already on your phone if you've installed an SD card. So this is just if you want to have further security for your precious recordings. The IoT menu in the RealLink app allows you to create an interconnected system using the RealLink devices for better communication and automation within your smart home. I'll put a link in the description for a full explanation on this. On the camera screen, press the cog above the preview picture. This will take you to the camera settings. The top option allows you to find out about the device's information and set the name, update the firmware, find out the MAC address and IP address, etc. The display menu lets you adjust items such as the anti-flicker rate, the adjust the brightness, watermarks and display date and camera in your images. You also get more advanced features such as the threshold for the auto color mode when it cuts in from the day to the night. In the audio section, you get the usual controls, but with a nice option for variable noise reduction. In lights, you get all the adjustments for both infrared and spotlights, allowing for both auto, threshold, and to turn completely off if required. Alarm detection allows for non-detection zones to be defined. Also with the sensitivity, the alarm delays and the object size to be defined so you can reduce false positives. There is a new feature that's in beta at the moment for motion mark, which helps you precisely identify moving objects or people when the alarm is triggered. Camera recording allows for recordings to be stopped, scheduled, and the duration of the recordings after motion has stopped being detected. This is also the section where you configure when your recordings will be overridden. Although with a 256 gigabyte SD capacity, I'd leave this on override the oldest. There is a whole section on notifications from push emails through to the use of the siren. In the more section, there is a simple QR code for sharing your camera. That's super convenient. Then there is a very unusual advanced feature of time-lapse photography. Now, if you're constantly recording, you can achieve this feature through software, but it's an interesting choice to have this in the camera. Adding the Rio Link camera to Home Assistant is very simple, but there is a twist. You need to configure the camera ports before you can integrate. Navigate to the Rio Link integration, links in the description, Scroll down to the connecting to Rio link via app or client. Select the link for your operating system, in my case Windows, and download the file and run. Select whether you wish this software to be available for all users or just yourself, and press next. Select a location for the files. 
Make sure the Run Rio link is selected and press Finish. Agree the terms of service and press Agree. Press Click to add device. Change the password if required and press Login. The live camera feed should now be shown. Now we need to make some modifications to the camera. Press the cog next to the camera. Go to Network Settings. Go into Advanced. Go to Server Settings. Click the HTTP and confirm. If you're going to be using an RTSP, tick and confirm. Change the port as required or leave as default and press save. We can now exit out of the program. Now opening up Home Assistant, navigate to Devices and Services. Add an integration, search for Rio Link and select. Enter in your password. Enter in the host IP address of the camera. This can be obtained from the application by going into the network settings and press submit. Your rear link camera has been found. Place it into the appropriate area and press finish. Now let's go and have a look at the device and the entities that have been brought across. Settings, devices and services. Search for your rear link camera. All of the entities are now available to us. Let's place these onto a dashboard. Press add dashboard. Select an appropriate dashboard and press next. Repeat this for the sensors. And again, repeat this for the controls. Navigate to your dashboard. You now have full control over your Rio link. Selecting the image brings up a live view. All of the controls that you had on your app are now replicated inside of Home Assistant. The Rio Link Duo 3 PoE security camera, a 16 megapixel ultra high definition dual lens security camera that has 180 horizontal by 55 degrees of field of view with stunning clarity in all lighting conditions with up to 256 gigabytes of on device storage, reasonably priced subscription plans if you want them, AI detection for vehicle, people, animals, color night vision, floodlights, 30 meters of IR vision, and even time elapsed recordings for those scenic sunrises and sunsets. This camera sets the new benchmark for UHD wide angle dual lens PoE security cameras that other manufacturers need to catch up to. I was genuinely surprised at how good this camera actually is for its ease of installation through to its configuration and finally its integration into Home Assistant and the available entities that it exposes. So there are a million things to like about this camera and only a few points that I'd raise. And these are more observations than negatives. 55 degrees vertical field of view is a little limiting, but you need to balance this against the purpose of the camera and for that it excels. The black metal housing of the camera can get hot to the touch. However, the camera is rated to work in 55 degrees Celsius, so it shouldn't be a concern even in Australia. Apart from that, this is a definite thumbs up from Smart Home Australia. Well done Rio Link for listening to your customers and bringing what they want. So if you've enjoyed the video, then consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, ding that bell to be notified of when similar content becomes available. Until the next one, keep those security cameras running and keep your home safe.